Good evening, my dear ones. How are you tonight? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you doing? Ready for action? Okay. Let's begin. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Norbert. Good evening, Pame. Okay, let's begin. Tonight is class 13, okay? We have class 13 tonight. Today is December the 1st, 2021. And uh, the topic for tonight is focus groups conversation. <clears throat> Welcome to your English class. The general objective is this. The specific objectives and the class objective for tonight. Tonight, we're going to be working on group works, sorry, focus groups, we're going to be discussing, uh, we're going to be completing, we're going to be matching ideas. So the first one, we're going to be matching sentence halves. <clears throat> okay, but before we do that, let me see who is present. Let me check who is present before we actually start. These are the things that we're going to be matching. Let's see. We have Anaselmi Chavez. Present. Thank you. Excellent. <laughs> Anadelmi Carranza de Guzmán. Dani Anthony Sigüenza. Danis Adalberto Fuente. Present. Carlos López. Present, teacher. Ok. Welcome. Welcome. José Carlos Targueta. José Ignacio Franco. José Noguero Velázquez. Present, teacher. Excellent. Karina Beatriz Díaz. Present, teacher. Okay. Nice. Very good. Welcome on board. Karina Elizabeth Villeda. Okay. Carla Verónica Vázquez. María Emma Catalina de Rosales. Marvin Alexander Bonilla. Miriam Claribel Jacobo. Pedrina Ileana Gómez. <coughs> Pamela Beatriz Posada. Present. Excellent. René Osvaldo Bonilla. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes. Present teacher. Excellent. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Welcome. Uh, and the try. Sorry? Listen, listen. Oh, you are driving. Yes. Oh, okay. So careful there, right? Let's see, Janira Guadalupe Gomez. And Rudy Josue Flores. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening. Okay. Good evening teacher and Carla. 
Ah, Carlita, welcome on board. Thank you. Yes, of course. Okay, my dear ones. Let's continue. Good evening, teacher. Karina. Kari. How are you, Kari? Good. Just coming in, right? Okay. Yes. yes. All right. Let's begin. Hello, teacher. Hello, Pedrina. How are you? Ay, no, bien tarde. Bye. Uh, let's see. Match the sentence halves. We're going to be working on purpose. Purpose is expressed with so that, in this case. Let me see. That's not the color that I want. So let me use white. So that. For purpose and this for reason, we have because. Now, my dear ones, the, <clears throat> the idea here is uh, so that indicates purpose. Like for example, uh, the family opened a well so that they could have a drinking water, okay? They opened a well or they dug a well so that they they could have fresh water. Okay, so that is the purpose. Or they say, uh, Maria uh, is teaching her son mathematics so that he may pass this subject that is so difficult for him. Okay, so like this, that would be the idea. Now over here, we have some sentences. Because is your favorite, so you know it very well. You're going to work with a partner in a group and you're going to discuss which should be the correct form, which connects with which. What I suggest is probably writing uh, the number next to the letter because there is more room for that the number next to the, the letter here. Okay, let's open the groups. Today we are only 16. So let's see how many groups I can make. I'm going to make five groups. The groups are opening, so please participate actively in the exercise, as you always do. Okay. We have four people who are not in the groups. Okay. Now we have three people that are not in the groups yet. Okay. So, Guadalupe and Ricardo. Please enter the groups.
Petra. It's here. It's here. Okay. Give me a moment. Yes, of course. <laughs> okay. Oh, teacher, I can't uh, share. Ah, okay. I will let you share. Oh, yes. Go ahead. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Okay. Guadalupe. Okay, we we match the centers have balls, propose and reason. Perhaps, uh -huh. purpose and reason. Purpose and reason. Yeah. Okay. The first. My mom works hard. That her boss could be. Uh, maybe the the number one is the letter J E. Because she won't feel in well. Because she wasn't feeling well. Letter D. Letter E. What do you think about uh, Rudy? Uh, I let. I think I letter J. My mom works hard so that her boss could be proud of her. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Letter J. Let's try with that. And then if it's wrong, we can change it. Okay. Number one, J. Well, then now we're two. Jack is teaching me French. Mm -hmm. So that I may travel to France safely. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. I. Okay. Mm, I lost my job. Because I'm stressed Letter G. Mm, what about the letter B? Because I didn't do a good job. Oh, no, see, I'm going to go. Yeah. What do you think, Ignacio? It's letter B because letter I B, did. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. The H. So, so, that, so that we could eat well. Yeah. So that we could eat well. Okay. Yes. Uh, Number five, letter A. Letter A, yeah. Number six, Jose Norberto. I am going to study, study hard. Okay. Because I like to graduate this year. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. The little C. Yeah. Number C, letter C. In the number seven, my parents raised me well. Um, my parents. Mm -hmm. 
so that I could not get into trouble. Entonces no me meter en problemas. O sea, no podría oh. meterme en problemas. Letter A. Y number seven. Letter oh. A. Ok. Number eight. José Norberto. Sí, Pedrina, bueno. are you here? No, ya. No, okay, yeah. José Norberto. Number eight. She went to the doctor. Hi, teacher. Hello, Den Dennis. How are you doing? I relax. Today, uh, today is uh, training. Training in the morning. Oh, so, it was raining this morning. What? It was raining this morning. Yes. Oh. Or oh, the, the the team is uh, abilities. Um, no, management of Ibis or Ibis Gerencia. Gerencia of Ibis. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's that is it. <laughs> okay. Who is, I, I, who is I, helping you right now? What, uh, the Joe? No, you know? in this one, who is helping you? Ah, no. No, no, no. Nobody's helping you now. No, no. Okay. Uh, I think, I, I think the, the number one, my mom were her, the connect or, ma or match, the E. She I was think. because she wasn't feeling well. Yes. Okay. That's and good. I lost my job. Machine B. Okay. I need to relax because I am stressed out. I'm stressed out. Okay. You're stressed out. Yeah. <laughs> the rest, the rest of partner, no. They're having dinner, probably. Yes. Maybe they're having dinner. Yeah. Jack is teaching my in French. Jack is teaching in French. Uh, I did the Tony cook dinner or no so that here uh were -huh. yeah h mm -hmm. yes h. h i'm going to study well. her mm -hmm. yeah uh I am going to study her much in letter C. Exactly. Letter C. Good job. Yes. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. My parent raising my well. I did the letter. I letter I yeah letter so that I may travel to France letter A letter A mm -hmm. <laughs> In... Mary did, Mary did a good job. Yeah, let me check what they are doing. Okay. 
Uh, I do exercise. I didn't much so because I want to early. Okay, I do exercise because I want to be healthy. Uh -huh. To be healthy. Yes. Okay. I'm going to go check the other groups. All right. Okay. Continue Thank you. Working. You're doing a good job. Yeah, thank you. Yes, you're welcome. Good evening. Hello, my dear ones. Have you finished? Uh, not exactly. Uh, Begun? Maybe. Uh, Have you begun? Yeah. Uh, yeah, maybe. Not yet. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because right now I'm going to go. To, we're going to go to the groups. Okay. Yes. Okay, so that means with the purpose of, and because means for the reason of. One, the purpose is uh, why we want something. Okay, we say like, um, you bought a notebook. Why did you buy the notebook? Mm, to write things. That is purpose. What's the purpose of the notebook? To write things. Okay. Uh, the reason why you bought the notebook? Necessity. You needed the notebook. So you bought the notebook because you needed it. Okay. So, so that is the purpose and because it's a reason. Check over here. My mom works hard. What's the purpose? Letter J. Okay. She works hard. Um. Letter D, she does, my mom doesn't care about her boss. My mom cares about me. Letter D. Letter, Letter D. D, so the everything I need. She cares about me. And then you say, my mom works hard so that I may have everything I need. Okay, excellent. What about number two? Jack is teaching me French. Why? What's the purpose? Let it I, so that I may travel principally. Excellent. French and France have a relationship, right? Exactly. The idea, okay, he's teaching me French so that I may travel to France safely. Why safely? Because I will understand what the French people are speaking, what they are saying, and I will not get lost. Okay, so 
Let's see. I lost my job. Letter B. Because I didn't do it. I didn't do a good job. I didn't do a good job. Okay, exercise. Excellent. Very good. I lost my job because I didn't do a good job. How about... G. Okay. Because I am stressed out. Because I'm stressed out. Okay. Stressed out. I'm stressed out. I lost my job. So every time that you get stressed out, you lose your job? Yeah. It's number four. I need to relax. So I relax because I am stressed out. Exactly. You are correct. Don't Don Ignacio, you are right. Four. Okay, excellent. Good job. What about Tony? Tony cook dinner. We say, teacher, here we're missing uh, an S. Yes, because it's Tony. Tony is third person. So if you say, cook, Tony cooks dinner. Why does Tony cook dinner? It is a letter F, letter F, letter H, right? Okay, cook dinner so that we could eat well. Okay, so number five, Tony doesn't want us to eat churritos, okay? Cheese balls and things. he wants us to eat well. So, he cooks dinner so that we could eat well. Cooked, past tense, cooked. Could is past tense. So let me change this for you to have cooked. Tony cooked dinner so that we could eat well. All right, number six. What about six, my friends? What do we have? Letter C. Letter C. I'm going to study hard because I like to graduate this year. Very good. That's not, that's the correct answer. Yes, absolutely. Now the next one, number seven. My parents raised me well. Teacher raised me well. Me criaron bien. They raised me well. They educated me well. Why? Or what, what was the purpose? So that I would not get into trouble. Exactly. So that I wouldn't get into trouble. They educated me well to, for me to respect the law, to respect people, and not to get into trouble. So that is seven. Seven is A. So, excellent. Number eight, we went to the doctor. Why did we go to the doctor? Or why did Mary, no, she went to the doctor. Why did she go to the doctor? Letter E. Letter E. She wasn't feeling well. She wasn't feeling well. Uh -huh. Exactly. She wasn't feeling well. Okay. Then the next one. Number six. I'm going to, no, sorry, number six. Seven. Number nine. Mary did a good job. Why did she do a good job? Yes. Number so J. Yeah. To be proud for him. Of her. Her boss could be proud of her. Mm -hmm. And the last one. I do it. I do exercise. Let it F. 
because I want to be healthy. Excellent, because I want to be healthy. Uh -huh. yeah. Perfect. It's very good. That's wonderful. Okay. I do exercise because I want to be healthy. Do you have any questions about the exercise? No, no problem. Okay. Then let's continue. Let's continue. Okay, this is completion. Complete about focus groups using so that or because. <clears throat> what do we have to write here in the blanks? So that or because. So that means with the purpose of, because you know the meaning. So let's do it here together. Who wants to do number one? And that. Teacher what is FG, Francisco Gaviria. No, <laughs> Francisco Gaviria is focus groups. Focus groups, okay. So that. Exactly. So the purpose of planning, the purpose of planning is, yeah, probably you will have problems, right? Because sometimes problems are unavoidable, but to reduce, reduce the number of problems. So let's say so that. Let's make it smaller. smaller. Excellent. You must plan the focus group so that you don't have any problems in the process. Okay. Who would like to do number two? It's because. because. Would you please read the whole thing? Because. Uh -huh, they, Uh, focus groups are really necessary because they provide you with essential information. Okie dokie. Excellent. Thank you. Mm -hmm. How about number three? The group needs to be a small. For me, the number three is. Because mm. so you yeah. need to be small because they may give you relevant information. Test the other one. Test, test. Mm. So that. So that. <clears throat> the, the groups need to be so they may give you reliable information. Okay, number four. Volunteer for four. <clears throat> But you can get the information you require. Um, repeat, please. Can and you hear me? Uh, only half. Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay. You must prepare a good questionnaire. 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 Because. Because. You can get information you require. Um, so that. Maybe so that. So that. So that. You must prepare a good questionnaire so that you can get the information you require. 
Okay. So that would be the idea. So that you can get the information you require. What about number five? One, another volunteer. Thank you, Kari. Thank you very much. Five. British form, you can't improvise. Well, improvise anyhow. Why can't you? Why can't you provide? Because. because you can improvise. Read, read the whole thing. Anita, would you please read the complete thing? Yes, you can improvise because you can put at risk everything you have worked for. Excellent. Thank you very much. Yes. You can put at risk everything you have worked for. Yes, absolutely. Now, number six. One volunteer for six. A good selection of the tester is necessary because we want accurate answers. Mm -hmm. Exactly, very good. Teacher, what is accurate? Exactly. Accurate means, means exact. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Number seven. Thank you, Rudy. Thank you very much. Number seven. This is similar to number three. Similar yes. to number three. So that. Mm -hmm. So that. Yes. Complete, completing. The tester shall be interested interesting in the process so that they may provide you Pro with, provide they you with mm -hmm. good insight. insight. Yes. Excellent, thank you. <clears throat> the tester should be interested in the process so that they may provide you good insight. Now, number eight. So that. Uh, would you read the whole thing, Jose Carlos? Uh, okay. You shouldn't include your workers in the focus groups so that they may give a basic answer. Uh, why, why shouldn't you include your workers in the focus group, groups? The because they may give this answer. Because uh -huh. here in these cases, don't don't do this because okay. Do this so that okay. With this purpose. Okay. Let me see. Number nine. The answers should be well interpreted. Who wants because. to? Uh -huh. Because the church you make my may reflect them. Okay. The answer should be well interpreted so that the changes you make may reflect them. So this is para que para que los cambios que hagan se reflejen. Uh -huh. So that the changes you make may reflect them. So that. Okay. Let's see my game. Uh, number 10.
you should supervise the focus groups so that they may work well. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that they may work well. What's the purpose of you supervising them? That they may work well. Okay. That they may work well. You should supervise the focus groups so that they may work well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, teacher, I still have questions. Okay. Um, one idea. One person does something with the purpose that another person may receive the benefits. Okay. An idea. Uh, my mom. What, is, what does my mom do? She saves money. What's the purpose? What's the purpose of the money? My mom saves. My mom saves money. And what was the purpose? So that I could go to university. Okay. My mom saved money so that I could go to university. In Spanish, it's pretty simple. Para que yo pudiera ir a la universidad. Okay. That's a purpose. Para que yo, para que yo pudiera. So one person does an action for another person to receive the benefit. But this is a purpose. Okay, this is a purpose. Okay, another one, another one. Uh, let me see. I say like this. I prepare the lesson. What's the purpose? So that you don't get enchivolated. <laughs> no, teacher, you don't get enchivolated. So that you don't get confused. Okay. Oh, okay. I prepare the lesson so that you may not get confused. Teacher, or you prefer you prepare the lesson so that we may get confused. <laughs> so that would be the purpose, right? That would be a purpose. So purpose, so that. Um, imagine Jose Carlos has a girlfriend. Yeah. Jose Carlos wanted yeah. his girlfriend uh, to go to the concert with him. Why? Okay. Then he goes and buys the tickets. And we ask, hey, why did Jose Carlos, JC, right? Why did he uh, buy? tickets for the concert. Oh, so that his girlfriend and he could go together, right? So that they could go together, okay? That is the purpose of buying the two tickets, okay? Uh, it's because some boyfriends say, hey, do you want to see, I don't know what movie, Ultraman, okay? <laughs> not teacher, Ultraman is not a movie. So what is, there is a movie and they say, hey, you want to see this movie? Yes, all right. See you inside the movie next Saturday. Ah, uh -huh. okay. He says, see you inside the movie so that the girl may pay her for her own ticket. 
<laughs> Stingy. Yeah. He says, let's meet in so that she may pay for her own ticket. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that would be the, the idea. All right. Do you have questions about so that? No. Guadalupe, do you have questions about so that? No. Okay. All right. Thank you. Let's continue. Let's see. Uh, now match the sentence in half. Match these sentences in halves. Using in order to. Teacher, in order to? Yes. What's the difference between so that and in order to? Well, people say that the only difference is that so that introduces a complete clause. But some of the people say that is that so that says that one person does something with the purpose of other people enjoying that. So we have two different subjects. Now things are different, but that is the old grammar. Okay. In order to is used for the same person. I study hard in order to pass the exam. In order to is similar to only to, to pass the exam, para pasar el exam, in order to pass the exam, right? So you say, uh, another example, in order to, I study every day in order to learn everything well. I look for information in the dictionary on the internet so that I may understand everything, okay? But you can say, I look for, for information before the class in order to understand everything. In order to understand everything, okay? Why does an inventor create a product. He creates a product in order to sell and make money, right? Some people say, ah, but he, he creates a product in order to satisfy a necessity. Yeah, but that is secondary. The first thing is to make money, okay? Okay, let's match these sentences. Who wants to do number one? Uh, in order to win, you must train hard. Okay, in order to win, you must train hard. Except that's number one. In order to win, you must train hard. Okay. Let's see, number two. Who wants to do number two? Uh, letter B, you must design a good product. Okay, yes, in order to place a product, you must design a good product. Good product. Exactly, mm -hmm. yes. yes. Yes, okay. Very good. What about number three? In order to corner the market, this is an expression of control. In order to control the market, okay, what do people do? You must sell it at a good price. Absolutely. Yes, yes, yes. Uh -huh. You must sell it at a good price. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it makes sense. Okay. 
In order to be successful, you must be honest. Mm. Mm. You must do everything well. <laughs> for, for me, letter E too. You, you must do everything. everything well. I agree with you. It's number four. It's better with letter E. Why teacher? Because there are a lot of picaros that are successful and they are not honest. Okay. So I'm not saying, hey, wow, it's beneficial to be dishonest. No. On the contrary, it is better to be honest. Okay. Number five. In order to earn people's trust, what? Letter A. Letter A. Just be honest. Be honest. In order, to, in order to earn people's trust, you must be honest and responsible. Uh -huh. Excellent. Very good. Number six. They must study the target market. Why? In order to produce something necessary, right? So you said, well, teacher, another way. What's your opinion? They must study the target market. Why? In order for people to buy it, letter F. Oh, but that would be the product. Letter A, number eight. Letter I. Buy it is eight. Mm -hmm. Yes. So letter I, right, has to be letter I. Six. Okay. What about seven? They must comply with specifications. Mm -hmm. Letter H in ah. order for people to accept it. Okay, in order for people to accept it. Okay, let's see. Yes, there we go. Number nine, the developers must think about the buyer. Why? In order to satisfy their needs. Satisfy their needs. In order to satisfy their needs. And number 10, the market strategy must be effective. In order to sell the product well. Okay, excellent. Good job. Oh, my dear ones, do you have any questions about in order to? After in order to, you use a verb, in order to win, in order to practice, in order to, okay. So that you use, okay. This is the order that you use with, so that, let me see. Same, probably same meaning. Okay. I must study hard in order to learn. I must study hard in order to learn. My boss 
gives precise instructions. So that I can do a good job. Okay, my boss gives me precise instructions so that I can do a good job. I must study hard in order to learn. Okay. Let's continue. Again, there was joining sentences. You were joining sentences, but here no more. Okay. You have to discuss these things. Mm -hmm. Discuss the following tasks. Read this information and discuss the following questions. Okay, let us see what you're going to be doing. First, these questions, we're going to discuss them together. Okay, let's do it like this. Okay, who, who, this is for whoever wants to answer it. It's free. Have you ever created and used focus groups? Have you ever created and used focus groups? In my case, no, never. Yeah, probably none of you. Uh -huh. Yes, I understand that many of these concepts that are for work don't apply to you, but well, something <laughs> that we need to study. Why, now, this is an opinion. This is a matter of opinion. Why do you think it is important to design good questions about the product for the participants in the focus group to respond? Okay, paraphrase. Why is it important to design good questions for the testers to do a good job? In order to get the important information about the new product. Exactly. In order to get important information, precise information. Very good. Next question. Why is it important for the company if the participants are interested in the investigation being conducted? Why is it important? Maybe to make decision. Exactly. Maybe also to um, the result. Maybe so that uh, we can be better. Yes, of course. Very good. Yes. So that the results may be uh, so that the information that these people provide may be more reliable. They are talking about something that they are interested in. Uh -huh. Is all because it's important to to identify the the target market. Yes, exactly. That is another reason, Anita. Uh, if we make a group, we create a focus group, thinking that those people are the adequate for the job. We may discover that these people could be the target buyers, or that these people are not, okay, depending on the answers that we get from them. Okay, excellent. The last question, what characteristics are essential for the focus groups to have? What characteristics? They must be interested in the process. What else?
willing to participate? Uh, willing to participate, what else? The time from for, uh, for participate in the meeting. Ah, okay, yes, available, right? They have to be available. Uh -huh. Yes, Cari, you're right. They must be available. What else? Maybe it can be uh, dynamic. Sure. Because you, we know that it's not a survey or an interview. Uh -huh, maybe, yes, they are dynamic. Okay. What else? What could be another characteristic necessary? Do you think that knowledgeable would be important? Depends. <laughs> I'm missing a B. I'm going to just be like this, lazy. Okay. So, knowledgeable means that they know what they are talking about. Oops. What about our surveys, teacher? Yes, my friend. Uh, this would be like, how can I say? Um, right now we're talking about the characteristics of the focus groups. But the characteristics of the surveys, I, I mean, that's an interesting question too. You are right. Something to consider. What should the characteristics be? Okay. So what other characteristics do you think are essential for the focus groups? Mm -hmm. Economic, uh, economically active. Okay, maybe they should have a job. Okay, or the money necessary to buy the product. Okay, excellent. So these are some of the things to discuss the questions. Now, my friends, these are some suggestions that we find in the manual. Uh, they have been adapted from Bright, uh, brighthavpm.com. Okay. Who wants to read number one? One volunteer to read number one? Me, teacher. Yes, please, go ahead. Introduction. Begin the season with a set of questions that will enable focus group members to get to know each other better. Each, their favorite hobbies and interests, what they enjoy, focus group, etc. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let, all right. Thank you. Thank you very much. So the session will be saying hello and uh, asking them personal questions for them to engage. Number two, volunteer to read number two. Uh, me. Yes. Fun starter question or activity. Ask a fun question or do a team a team building game to get the group creativity flowing. Flowing. For flowing. example, ask ask 
ask them uh, to think of three words to describe their favorite hobby. Mm -hmm. You might say, and what does that have to do with testing the product? Yes. Well, maybe it, it doesn't have anything to do with testing the product, but it may get their mind active. Let's see, number three. Yes, please go ahead. Format. When using focus group question, be sure to include a mix of multiple choice question to provide structure and direction and open it question to allow for future exploration and discovery. Yes. So you need to you need to include two types of questions. Multiple choice questions, A, B, C, and uh, open-ended questions. Okay. Questions that they will respond uh, with their own words. Okay. They cannot be so many because if you are, if the groups are large, you cannot be reading all of the answers. All right, let's see the next one. Number four, who wants to read four? Me teacher, rating scale. Select an appropriate rating scale to measure different levels of approval. Of approval, uh -huh. okay. Yeah. Approval. Approval is the, is the word in English. Approbation doesn't exist, right? Approval uh -huh. is the correct word. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Five, who like to do five? Five. Me teacher. Yes, please go ahead. Specific, specificity. Specificity. Yes. Avoid batch open ended question that simply ask why. The word why has negative meaning. It, it makes the respondent think their first answer was not good and instead ask respondents to provide some specific example of what they liked or did or did not like about the item in question. Um, all right, yes. Do you agree with that? Yes. Yes, maybe yes. But sometimes the why question is necessary, not because the answer was wrong, but because the answer was uh, insufficient. The answer was too short, okay? Like some, you asked them, um did you like the did you like the the product and they say yes what information uh, do you get from that so yes, of course the question was wrong the question was wrong because all you got was a yes and then you need to expand why so from the beginning the question should be why did you like the product the problem is that what happens if the person didn't like the product, right? The question can be, why did you like the product? No, but I didn't like it. Oh, that's why the did you like the product question? I mean, it's, right? But it's too important to know why it's like exactly. the the specific, how do you say, or specific, what, what a specification uh, don't like. Didn't like, or, didn't like. Didn't like, didn't like. It's uh, important to know. Yes, absolutely, it's important. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay, nice. Thank you very much. What about uh, number six? Who wants to read six? Closing. Uh -huh. Thanks the participants for the help. They help and ask if there anything could be done to improve their experience as a member of the focus group. Okay, excellent. Thanks. Thank you very much. 
much. That is, so that will be the closing. So you say, thank you for participating and um, a blank, okay, a line, let's say for them to write a suggestion as to how to improve something in the performance of the product or in the quality of the product, okay? Yeah, excellent, very good. So this is about this. I'm going to call roll right now so that later we may continue with, with the other part. Let's see, Anaselmi Chavez. Present teacher. Excellent. Present teacher. Excellent. Welcome on board. Dani. Thank you. Yes, you're welcome. Dan, Dani Anthony Siguenza. <clears throat> Danis Adalberto Fuentes. Present. Eduardo present. Hernández. Guadalupe del Carmen López. Present. Excellent. Jose, Jose Carlos Sargueta. Present teacher. Nice, very good. Okay, welcome on board. Jose Ignacio Franco. Present teacher. Okay. You're Present teacher. Excellent. Karina Beatriz Diaz. Present teacher. Excellent, Minita. Welcome on board. Karina Elizabeth Villeda. Present teacher. Welcome on board. Carla Veronica Vasquez. Present teacher. <clears throat> uh, welcome on board, Carlita. Uh, Maria Emma Catalina. The... Present teacher. Okay, welcome on board. Marvin Alexander Bonilla. Okay. Uh, Miriam Claribel Jacobo. Pedrina Iliana Gomez. Pamela Beatriz Posada. Present. Excellent. René Osvaldo Bonilla. Present teacher. Excellent. Welcome on board, my friend. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes. Janira Guadalupe Gomez. Present. Okay. Excellent. And Rudy Josue Flores. Present teacher. Okay. Nice. Welcome on board, my friend. Okay. Then let's continue. So we finished with this part. What we're going to do is you're going to be discussing these tasks. And uh, after discussing these tasks, you're going to go to the next one. But first, this one. These questions, you're going to discuss them in the groups, okay? Going to discuss them in the group. My dear ones, I ask you to do this I know that sometimes the content is not like uh, the most interesting thing in the world and probably some of the things you believe that they will not be useful to you. But consider that the English practice that you have here will be useful to you, all right? So please uh, help and work with that. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to stop. Uh, presenting and I'm going to go to the groups. This is page 15 that you're going to be working on. For the moment, only this page. So let's go. Let me see, I'm going to give you, I can't give you more than 10 minutes for this one. So I'm going to give you 10 minutes for you to work on this one, okay? And we go to because we are not going to 
going to go to different groups. Okay, the groups are beginning. Please join. We oui. don't understand well the, the instruction. We need to create the scale for the satisfaction for the measure. Okay, let's see. What right now you're going to discuss is the question. These are the tasks that you need to discuss. Use a rating scale to measure the participant satisfaction. Okay, so this is uh, something that is suggested about the focus groups, right? That right. You, that you use a scale. What is a rating scale? Well, the zero to 10, maybe? Sure. You can say number one. Okay, thinking about a uh, how satisfied are you? And they say, very satisfied. Thank you. Um, satisfied. Eight. A little satisfied. Six. Um, not satisfied. Three or four. And then completely dissatisfied. Two or one or whatever. So that, that would be a measure, a rating scale. Some people use, well, you know what they use in the apps, five stars, four stars, three stars. So you can say, how many stars can you, would you give to, I mean, the product? And they tell you mm, three stars. Why three stars? Uh, because I didn't like this and this and this other fish. So that can be a rating scale, stars, five stars, four stars, three stars, two stars, one star, zero start, minus zero start, <laughs> minus zero, imagine. Zero cannot be negative, but okay. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah. an idea. Of course, uh, as to your question, Anita, uh, use a rating scale, Teacher, what scale? We don't have it, so we have to create it. Yes, you're right. Okay. okay. Thank you, teacher. Yes, Thank you're you, right. Mm -hmm. One moment, please. Teacher, what number of the page? Hey, number 15, Guadalupe. Is okay. Yes. Okay. How are you, Guadalupe? So, so. <laughs> I saw you a little tired. And I, I don't know. Maybe a little I will I work later. Yes, a little angry too. And I said, mm -hmm. why? <laughs> what did I do to Guadalupe? I said. <laughs> 
Mr. Lupe, if I offended you, please excuse me. Sometimes no, I, no. Sometimes no, I make stupid jokes, but the idea is not to offend the people. Is I mean, is to try to make make you happy. And imagine if I make you angry instead of that. We want to say like this, right? Oh, okay. So yeah, it's page page fifteen, the one that you are working on. Okay. Is, Thank you. Uh, it says use a rating scale to measure a participants' attack. Um, somebody okay. asked in the previous group, teacher, we don't have a rating scale. Do we make it? Of course, we would have to make it, right? What are some rating scales that are famous? Using descriptions. Five stars, four stars, three stars, two stars, one stars, and no stars at all. No stars. <laughs> it can be a rating scale. Or you can say from number 10, very satisfied. And number one, very dissatisfied. And so you say, very satisfied, satisfied, a little satisfied, not satisfied, completely dissatisfied. So those can be a rating scale that you can use. Uh, and yes, you'll have to create it. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Norbert, are you here? Norbert. I understand hey. that people are tired now because they are working extra time. This month is really difficult. I understand. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. So let's start with Guadalupe. Guadalupe. Answer okay. with the okay. information that you know. This information yeah. that you don't know, don't worry. You try. Okay. Okay. You don't, you, you don't know. <laughs> Nobody dies. <laughs> okay. okay, perfect. Um, uh, uh, I tell you, I'm sorry because I don't understand so much the. Yes. Uh, Teacher. And then um, and sometimes and understand is sometimes not. Okay. What is supposed to be how to do? Select a, a product or what? Right now you're going to discuss these things. Okay. Um, in the first one that they ask you to do is use a rating scale to measure the participant satisfaction. What you're doing here is preparing because you're going to be creating a simulation. You're going to create a simulation. So you need to prepare the instruments and these are suggestions about some things that you will need to do. Okay, for example, use a rating scale to measure the participant satisfaction. You say, teacher, we don't have a, a rating scale. Well. It's true, you don't have one, so you would have to create it. And you say, teacher, how do you create that? This is like um, five stars, four stars, three mm -hmm. stars, two stars. Like you say, how many stars could be satisf satisfied? Five stars. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, three stars probably in big and maybe one star or zero star this size. So that would be a rating scale. Another that people like to use is a happy face. A serious face. And a crying, I mean a crying face and a mm -hmm. ugly face. <laughs> so this is another way of rating. But mm. the most common is from one to ten, how mm -hmm. satisfied are you? Mm -hmm. From or 
if it's too big from one to five, from one to five, how satisfied are you? And then tell you four, five, three, et cetera. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And in the other one, the questions, because you're going to be preparing questions. So you need to discuss this first. Um, the, the next part, you're going to be working together in the same group. Mm, okay. <clears throat> so basically answering your question, what you're doing here is reading, but you need to know some of the things that you will be using later. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Yes, you're welcome. Are you with the project? Are you... Uh, my dear ones, excuse me to interrupt you. Some people uh, are asking, teacher, and what are we doing here? Actually, uh, here you are reading this information and there are some things that you need to discuss. Why? because the next thing that you're going to do is a simulation of focus groups, okay? So then you're going to be creating a, a questionnaire and you're going to be creating a rating scale. The rating scale can be like, how satisfied are you with the product? And it can be like five stars, four stars, three stars, mm -hmm. That can be, or another one can be uh, from one to five, how satisfied are you with the product? And then they give you a four, they give you a three, or they give you a five, depending on how satisfied they are with the product. That is a rated, a rating scale. It's an instrument to measure how satisfied they are. And uh, you say, teacher, but we don't have a product. Don't worry about it right now. It's a general idea, okay? So later we're going to be working on specific things, okay? Okay, we, we create a new questionnaire. Yes, in a moment we're going to be creating a questionnaire. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thanks, teacher. We're going to be working together anyhow. Mm -hmm. I I was go, I was by by I, okay. I have a friend that she has a big big collection to something Coca Cola. Yeah. All, <laughs> all her her house yeah. is is decorated with. with with collection, uh, uh -huh. collection, collection, yes. Yeah. Um, she she was win for mm -hmm. a big collection. Well, <laughs> yeah, that's that's amazing, right? Well, to me, in I will I will go in. Well, I will if I have the opportunity. I will um, like the idea to. Travel to Atlanta. That we know that Atlanta is the that collaborate. It has a uh, uh, museums about Coca Cola, and I want to go. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's a kind of German German Coca Cola. It's the most delicious. The product impression that you can give. Uh... <laughs> yes, that's right. Yeah. Well, yeah. another. Oh, right. And well, Coca Cola I, and Pepsi has a brand position. Yes. Each product has a has a different, different. market, mm -hmm. different market, mm -hmm. but but are a good position each. See all oh, the both, yeah.
Tal vez nos quita el sueño. That's your... <laughs> okay, my dear ones, now everybody's out. This is the next thing that you're going to be working in the same groups where you are. Okay. Uh, some of the things that you will be doing. This page, page 17 and page 18. And then after this, you're going to report. Okay, so uh, it says group work, design a 10 to 12 question questionnaire to find out how the participants of a focus group perceive the product you suggested in unit one. So over here, because you are again in a different group, you have to think of a product. Okay, decide on what product you, I mean, you want to test and what product you would like to make the questions about. Here it says 10 to 12 questions, questionnaire. Well, we are not that rich. So we cannot have, okay. What we're going to do is we're going to have a five to six, uh, five to six questions, okay? Because we don't have that much time either. So design a five to six question questionnaire, question questionnaire, okay? To find out how the participants of a focus group perceive the product you've suggested in unit one. So, in the product that you are that you come up with right now, okay, you suggest it. And the next one, remember to start with questions to make the participants interact with each other and reduce their anxiety. Okay, then ask questions about the specific characteristics of the product. Number here, people, uh, these people assume that uh, the participants are uh, anxious. So maybe yes, maybe no. Maybe they are anxious, maybe they are not anxious. But the idea is what happens if they are anxious? Prepare the questions, two or three questions. Well, two questions basically, okay? Then ask questions about the specific characteristics of the product like uh, the function, the function, let's say the function of the product, the physical characteristics of the product, or maybe uh, let's say the design, the specific design of the product. Okay, so you can ask about that. So uh, this is to, let's say, give you a better idea. Okay. This is, this is create the questionnaire, okay? This has to do with the questions, create the questions. And number two, use the questionnaire you created to evaluate the product. Instruct participants to respond freely. Don't push them, don't box them, okay? Give them freedom, guide them through the process analyze their answers, how many were favorable and how many were unfavorable. Use the results to decide if, you, if there were changes to making the product before it's launching and report to the class. So this would be the idea. Okay, now what we're going to do is something that we haven't done yet. Let me see. This is what comes to, to my mind. Hello, my dear ones. Some of you are going to be creators or let's say developers of products. And uh, your partners are going to be uh, your focus groups. So 
the groups that we're going to be working on right now are going to be a little bigger. And the product that you're going to be testing is going to be a product that is famous in the market right now. Nothing that you have created because obviously we don't have the time to create all the process of the product. So then what we're going to do, changing the rules of the game because of time is number one, think of a product that is popular, Coca-Cola, for example. Design uh, the questions about Coca-Cola, okay? And then uh, the same people in your group are going to be answering the questions and then they are going to be giving opinions about this. You recollect the information in the answers, like uh, palo, palo, palito, palo, right? So what they responded, palito, palito, palito. And then when you report, well, you have a lot of palitos there. So um, actually, um, we're going to be having, since we are 19, including me, I'm not going to be participating. So I'm going to be checking. I can make three groups only, three groups. And uh, all of you are going to be involved, except that in each group, I'm going to enter and I'm going to appoint some people developers. And these people are going to be conducting uh, the, the let's say the focus groups, okay? So let's begin. Let me see how this works. To be honest, I have never done this. So uh, some people say, never say that you have never done this because people don't want to trust me. Well, I don't want to lie. This is something that is true. So let's see how this works out, okay? Let's see. Um, I'm going to create a group. I'm going to make, like I say, three groups, okay? Three groups and uh, let's see how we work. <clears throat> uh oh, can they say? Okay, five. Okay. Let me see. All right, now the groups are made, let's begin. Let's, the groups are open.
Okay. My dear wife, in the chat, I left you instructions at the steps that you need to follow. And uh, who wants to be the developer of the product? Ignacio. Okay. Don Ignacio is going to be the developer. Okay. So please help him create the questions. Mm -hmm. You will answer the questions and he will collect the information. Okay. The product has to be a famous product. It can be a product that you are familiar with. Maybe okay. A phone, maybe a cell phone, maybe a soft drink, like I was saying, Coca-Cola, but it could be uh, Kellogg's, could be Kellogg's, could be Coca-Cola, could be, uh, I don't know, you think about the product. Popular product. Yes, popular product. And then you have, don't complicate your life, five questions about the product. Okay, five questions. And pass the questions, get the information and report. That's easy. Okay. okay. Yes. But um, could you say entre todos? Yes, all the members of the group in this group. All the members of the group we create the question. And all the members of the group will be answering the questions about the product that you have thought. So you okay. the decision on the product has to be unanimous. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Okay. What product? McDonald's. Dear ones. More sorry. than the hamburger. Huh? My dear ones, sorry to interrupt you in the chat. Yeah. I sent you the instructions as to what are the three things that you're going to be doing. And um, I, I would like to know who's going to be the developer. Maybe Jose Carlos or Pamela could, would like to be the, or Guadalupe would like to be the developer, everybody together will create the questions, okay? The developer will uh, uh, ask you to answer the questions. Everybody will answer. And like I said, palito, palito, palito in the, in the answers. Satisfied or not satisfied, or what did you like about the product? Maybe the color, the size, the shape, the whatever, this flavor because the products that you're going to be testing, you have to decide on that. It can be, like I said, Coca-Cola. It could be Kellogg's. It could be a cell phone. It could be something that you use every day, right? Like sh sugar, el cañón, okay? Or I don't know. You think about a flour that you use to make tort uh, tortillas or pupusas, you know? Doña Blanquita, or <laughs> I don't know. So you think about the product and then you ask only five questions. Don't complicate your life. Five questions about, the, about it. Uh, everybody in the group answers and then you report what you discover. Only that. You say, teacher, the group, the, the thing that we tested was this and this is the answers that we have and that's it. You report. Okay. So. Please begin working on that. Five questions, don't complicate your life. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, my, my dear ones, um, I left you in the, in, in the chat box, I left you the instructions, but think about the product. What product you're going, you're thinking about soda, okay. Please be specific about the soda. You can say Coca-Cola, you can say Pepsi, you can say Fresca, or you can say, I don't know. What's the name of the of the, the one that is from here? Cola Champagne, right? So you can think about Cola Champagne or any. And then you will write only five questions. I said six in the chat, but five questions. Oh, okay. Only five questions about the product. I need one of you to be the, de the developer Maybe Karina Villeda would like to be the developer, but everybody together makes the questionnaire, the five questions. You help okay. build the questionnaire and everybody answers the questionnaire. Like, um, 
you provide that. And in the report, you're going to be uh, saying how satisfied you are about the product. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It basically, well, you're going to report, you have to assign the person who is developing could be the one who reports. Okay. That would be the idea. Okay. So go ahead, my friends. You may work. John, uh, you, you, you know the trouble. You know? You know the trouble. Mm -hmm. If, if, if you drink uh, energy drink, the implication for healthy. Yeah. Too you much know. calories <laughs> and sugar, too much sugar. Yeah, exactly. For diabetic people, this is very, very bad product. Poison, Don, Don Ignacio. <laughs> yeah. Very maybe in the long time, maybe, yeah. And believe me that the problem is that we do one a day. And that is five in the six, seven in the week. So that's a problem. If it were once a month, okay. But the thing is that we human beings take something like you see the drunkards, the drunkards, right? They begin with one beer. One beer is not bad. Even two is not bad. But the problem is that they don't stop at two. They continue with three, with four, with five, with six, with 12, with 24, with 36, right? And they grow up exponentially. It, it may be the, the energy drinks this is right, Jose Ignacio, energy drinks. Um, they have a lot of contain the, sure. how do you say, caffeine? Co co caffeine. 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 Uh -huh. But in, in, how do you say, big quantities? Yes, large, large amounts. Large amount, yes, large amount of caffeine. Mm -hmm. Some of them have drugs too. Yes, it's a, it's a drugs, a social drugs accepted. <laughs> keep it, no, but to keep you alert. Mm -hmm. So and that's yeah. why they are addictive many times. Yes, addictive. It's a, it's a, it's a legal, legal potion. <laughs> Sure, yeah. it's a legal option, exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. All right, so go ahead, continue working. Oh. Yeah. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Oh, my the question can be, did you like them? Or do you like the texture? Uh, maybe the flavor? Okay. Mm, but flavor and texture is different. Yes, yes, it can, yes, another, we can be. Question. Uh huh. Yes, it can be two questions there. Yes, you can. Request. What did, What did mm -hmm. you say? Sorry, you can repeat it. Do you like the texture? Mm. And that what I can say about the the flavor. Ah. Uh, Uh, how many the next question when we can finish with them can be can be uh, maybe the price the price mm -hmm. uh, what kind of What can be the, the question uh, with price? Mm, how well do you think is the relation? Uh, quality, really? quality price. 
Uh, did you have a relation quality price? Uh -huh. <laughs> what, what do you think about the relation quality price? What's that? You can repeat, sorry. What do you think about? What do you think about? The relation, relation quality price. Well, we can finish with the pro the question like that. Yes. Okay. Yes, I think. Okay. The, the next step is select the the rating scale. Yes. What will you have to to use? One to five. One to ten. Uh, faces or bad, good, more or less. Um, well, the, but um, I think it's um, um, well. Yes, yeah, we can need to put them. Uh, well, the first one says, "Have you ever eaten French fries?" Yes, no. Mm -hmm. uh, did you mm -hmm. prefer McDonald's French fries? Uh, I prefer a lot. I prefer, I don't prefer. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know how the other. Uh, do you like the texture? Uh, oh, well, maybe the, the question can be. Uh, you are satisfied with the texture or mm -hmm, you are satisfied mm -hmm. with the with yes, the flavor but... and we can put I'm satisfying, not satisfying, or mm -hmm. I'm I don't know, can be a... or maybe we can use uh faces. Maybe I think it is fast to the collect information and yeah. uh -huh. and an analyze the the results. Maybe. Yeah. You well, can use faces, uh, sad faces, cry faces. Sad faces, not sad faces. Uh, you can use the the, the emoji. Ah, cry, emojis. Cry faces is bad. Sad ah, cry faces, faces is sorry. more or less, and happy faces is. Precious. <laughs> Just the price. Así está bien. El precio. Ah, no. Sorry. <laughs> Vamos a calificar la presentación, las presentaciones. No, the, the exam presentation, de lata. The price of the, the uh, presentation. For example, price is 35 cents. It's more. 35? It's less? Uh -huh. 35, 38. Uh -huh. Because it's more cheap than Coca Cola and Pepsi. Okay. Uh, other question? ¿Cómo califica la presentación de más grande de cola champán? No sé. O sea, la botella. Por el. The, the one liter, lit, liter. Two liter. Ah, the big, the big, mm -hmm. big. Big, pre big presentation. Yes. Mm. 
big percentage, the most big presentation. So, not biggest, big one. Most cost. Um, presentación, precio. Two dollars. Two dollars. How much cost? Creo. <laughs> I don't know. I can't drink soda. <laughs> Only water. Yes. <laughs> I like soda, but I can't <laughs> for a long time. <laughs> the, the, the fourth question. For, um, um, how do you rate? Of why? Uh, what what now is that they drink it to sh to share como para levantar los ánimos? Like a, like I say the cheer the mana for the wake up wake up the to wake up the, the wake wake up the mind wake up the mind. Mm -hmm. okay. But the the harm that addiction cause is very serious. Like, like I say, the the teacher one or two is not problem. It's not the problem, bad. The problem is the sepsis. The problem is the addiction. Yes, I. <laughs> But and it is similar to coffee. Uh, <laughs> uh, the coffee is uh, maybe uh, five percent the problem. The, okay. the energy drink is so much uh, serious. Is a it's a it's a great problem for our body. Okay. I don't it know what say the riñones and uh, kidneys. And the kidneys. Kidneys, there is is destroyer, and the arterial pressure is up too much. It's yeah, difficult. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think about relation quality price? Uh, mm. Again, uh, sad. happy face, sad face. Okay, sad. In my case, sad. And for me, it's acceptable. Happy. It's happy. Ah, okay. okay. Yes. Happy you too? too. And you, yeah. Lupita? Mm. For me, it's sad. sad. <laughs> okay. To me, it's happy. To <laughs> Well. <laughs> <laughs> Radical. <laughs> uh, with our results, our uh, results, I, we all, every, everyone prefer the French fries, and well, sorry, ever eaten French fries. Um, the next question is, uh, the results are, the many of of all prefer Donut McDonald's French fries. And number three, everyone uh, everyone like the texture. And number four, everyone like the fla the flavor the flavor. Sorry. And number five, uh, we have.
Hay dos carinas. Here me are Elizabeth. Okay. <laughs> group. Okay, my friends. Um, I was going to have you report, but actually I saw you working and I said, um, I prefer them to finish what they are doing to develop their ideas completely. And I can see how you are working. Uh, then cut it, I'm finished and then you present something that you didn't complete. So for that reason, I decided to let you continue, okay? Um, thank you very much for participating. I visited the three groups and I checked what you were doing and it was a very good job. So congratulations, you did a nice job. Okay, um, let me see, tonight, for me, Danny Adalberto. <laughs> yeah. Right? Okay, excellent. <laughs> Let's go and check who's here and we finish. So, <clears throat> and Danny is ready. <laughs> yeah. Danny is ready. Excellent. I know how to sleep. Nice. And the Chavez. Present teacher. Excellent. Wonderful. Ana Delmi Carranza de Guzmán. Okay. Dani Anthony Fuenza. Danis Adalberto Fuentes. Present. Excellent. Very good. Eduardo Ernesto Hernández. Guadalupe del Carmen López. Present teacher. Excellent, nice. Jose Carlos Argueta. Present teacher. Yes, okay, nice. Jose Ignacio Franco. Present teacher, sorry, a question, a question. When, when is my turn uh, one to one? Uh, let me tell you in a moment. Let me see. On Tuesday, December. Tuesday 7th, okay. Seven. Thank, thank you. Okay. Okay. So Jose Norberto Velasquez. Present teacher. Okay. Norbert has been very busy today. Okay. So Karina Beatriz Diaz. Present teacher. Uh, Karina Elizabeth Villeda. Present teacher. Nice niñita. Carla Veronica Vázquez. Present teacher. Excellent, Carlita. Nice. Maria Emma Catalina de Rosales. Present teacher. Excellent. Very good, señorita. Marvin Alexander Bonilla. Present teacher. Excellent, my friend. That's very good. Eh, Miriam Claribel Jacobo. If I see. Pedrina Iliana Gómez. Pedrina Iliana Gómez, no. Okay. 
Pamela Beatriz Posada. Present. Excellent, Pam. Nice. René Osvaldo Bonilla. Okay. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes. And Janira Guadalupe Gómez de Ríos. Present. Okay. And Don Rudy Josué Flores. Present. Excellent. Very good. Okay. Now, my dear ones, thank you very much for joining me tonight. Okay. Uh, we stop here. Please do your homework and uh, come and tomorrow we continue with the class. So God bless you all. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Good night. Okay, bye. Take care. Bye. Good night. Good night. Take care, my guys. See you, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. Tomorrow, yes, tomorrow keeps God. For, yes, yes. God first. Okay. okay. God first. Always. Yes. Okay. See you. God first. Always. Yes. Okay. See you. Thanks. Bye, teacher. Bye, classmate. Bye. Take care. Okay. Let's see. Good night, Don Ignacio. I sleep, Ignacio. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a table. Yeah, that's right. Yes. Oh, that is, how can I help you, my friend? What is something that you don't understand uh, and that I could help you with? Uh, I think the, the, the more practice, the practice, the new vocabulary, you, you, you understand the, uh, the first bear or the second complement or the, the different rules mm -hmm. for speaking, yeah. Okay. And a little more specific? <laughs> uh, no, 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 no specific. It's, it's, it's uh, all, all practice. The, the, right now is the, the, the disconnect or the lost signal for right now is a coronation or the new event in for holiday festival the Libertad city mm -hmm. uh, in yes. Mahau, no uh, in now in Mahau, they installed the disco mobile yes. <laughs> I imagine so yeah yes <laughs> The class. What? And you're happy because you're going to go dancing after. I I do like the dance. Okay. I, I like the the heavy heavy metal. <laughs> like heavy metal. E A C D. What? A C D Z. A C D Z. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine. Yes. Yeah. Link. Mm -hmm. Okay. How long have you been listening to those bands? What? How long have you been listening to those bands? Listen the to the to bands to do those music bands like uh, Megadeth and. ACDZ and ah, ah okay and for under the understruck or in Megadeth I like the the it's complicated so I I know all some is like what do you like about them the rhythm 
the rhythm, the vocabulary that they use. Uh, what is it that you like? The look that they have? Um, the look. You like the look? Yeah, yes. Okay. Yeah. About the music, what do you like? The rhythm, the lyrics? The lyric, lyric. Lyric in the, in the moment it's not like the, do you say the significado or? The meanings. The meaning, mm -hmm. the, the song or any song? Uh, I don't like the the little little black. No, the black black metal is not like heavy metal. Yes, yes, yes. In a, a session, yes, mm -hmm. yes. Highway to hell. Yeah, Highway. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or six 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 the the, the maiden uh -huh. or I like the still in love with you for Scorpion. Ah okay. So that would be commercial rock. Soft yes. pop rock. Yeah. 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 Uh -huh. It's the, the good letter. Yes, of course. But yes. I think, you know, you can improve your English by going to YouTube, look yeah. your favorite songs with lyrics. Okay. And uh, read and later listen and sing. Yeah, yeah. It's, so it's, it's when good you practice. Think you're practicing reading. Yeah. When you sing, you're practicing pronunciation. And that's something yes. that can do something. In else. my case, I, I prefer the the lyric or the song in the the pan or it's, it's slowly, slowly mm -hmm. the, for example um manowar manowar yes it's is 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 a remix slowly is understand the best how about credence do you like credence Crid? credence yeah yes mm -hmm. uh, my, my favorite is uh no yes yes it's like um or the Rolling Stone. The Rolling Stone. Yeah, paint in black. Yeah. Ah, painted black. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It's a good song. Good song. It's a good song. Angie. 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 Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's, it's very well. The, yes. The, the, yes. The Rolling Stones have some <laughs> that are very very nice, right? You can okay, so I, I like the, the Lennon, Rolling Stone, the BGs. 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 And with the lyrics, with the lyrics, you can practice vocabulary, pronunciation. Yeah. You can do your English yes. listening and following the lyrics. Yes. Yeah. OK. Uh, let's see. So, my advice would be your favorite song. Uh, look for the song on YouTube with lyrics. Okay. Uh, investigate the meanings, the meanings of the phrases, etc. Or ask someone who you consider can help you with the vocabulary to understand the songs. And then, of course, sing listen sing the song and that improves your english yeah pronunciation everything yes. is yeah okay mm -hmm. thank you teacher yes you're welcome okay my yeah.
then I let you go to, to do your homework and, okay, uh, let's say, and then sleep because I imagine that you must be tired. Okay. Yes. yes. <laughs> Thank you very much for staying. I apply my headphone. <laughs> yes. I imagine so. Okay. Yes. Yes. Thank you for staying, my friend. Oh, thank you for you, teacher. See you tomorrow. I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Yes, exactly. Yes. Take care, my friend. Sleep well, uh, rest well, and I'll see you tomorrow. Okay? Good night. Perfect. Perfect. Sure. Thank you. Take care. Bye. Bye. Yes. Yes. Be good. Yep. Yeah.